So I've been critical of Yellow Flash in the past for, I think, rightly being a grifter. But sometimes he puts out opinions which are at least debatable. Maybe you can agree. Maybe you can disagree. But this time, he just made himself a complete laughing stock. It's really nothing to this. We're just making fun of him because he's a complete fucking moron. So what happened? Well, basically, he looked at these comments copying one another and assumed this massive grand conspiracy by Lucasfilm. And he read an article about bounding into comics, very lazy and didn't double check very basic material and got fooled and got scammed. Well, they have proven they don't give a damn about lore. And then this bot chimes in. So I want to read this for you. If you want to criticize The Last Jedi for contradicting lore, there are plenty of examples to choose from. It's beyond me that you picked an episode that doesn't adhere to that criticism. Something, something, hating. Now, I want to be clear. I know some of these YouTubers, so I know they do have their own channels. I know they're human beings. They're not bots. They are actual people. I can't speak for all the people who were copying their comments, but basically it was just a big joke. They were copying each other's comments. They were just having this little private joke. Now, I sometimes agree with these people, sometimes I disagree. I don't even think they actually even think the sequel trilogy is that good. I think SK has been critical of Revenge of the Sith and of Episode 4. He doesn't like Episode 4, but we'll save the larger Star Wars talk for another time. I'm just pointing out that Yellow Flash was just being lazy and stupid and posited a conspiracy that wasn't there. Yeah, it's pretty funny. He keeps saying The Last Jedi. I guess he's obsessed with Ryan Johnson and keeps dreaming about Ryan Johnson late at night. Now, I don't want to get into his sexual fantasies or into his demented, bigoted head. If he wants to sexually fantasize about Ryan Johnson in The Last Jedi, that's his prerogative. But I think what they're referring to is Tales of Jedi. It's Tales of Jedi they're talking about, not The Last Jedi. Why I keep saying The Last Jedi, I don't know. It's not matching the initials. And speaking of the initials, he completely missed a joke with SK when he called himself Sacred Cow. This thing's just a laugh riot. He's just being a complete fucking idiot. Just to hate something, something. Now, take that, and then look at this. This is from Sacred Cow. If you want to criticize The Last Jedi for contradicting lore, there are plenty of examples to choose from. It's beyond me that you picked an episode that doesn't adhere to that criticism, something, something, hating just to hate something, something. And then he points out another one. If he had just bothered double-checking their YouTube channels, it wouldn't be that hard. Just Google SK, Google one of his Spider-Man essays. Just Google SK and Spider-Man. He's going to come up. This wasn't that hard. I did it in a couple seconds. Yellow Flash has just been getting really stupid and lazy, just putting out these videos, not double checking things, and it's just, he's become a complete joke. But he's successful, so I'm going to learn from him. I'm just going to put out tons of lousy videos being completely stupid and get a large following. And when he gets caught, I'm going to say, mm, Yeah, I was talking about this. I, you, you, you are a butt. I can't say for sure. And you, trolls. Yeah, blah, blah. No, you're just a fucking idiot. You could have just double checked these things in three seconds. In three seconds. Instead, you just read Bowing Into Comics. Said, uh, yeah, the Bowing Into Comics starts these bots in the Luke Cash film. And, you know, they're protecting their logic content. They're destroying the Fendos. And blah, 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 blah. Well, here's a clue. Stop reading Bowing Into Comics like it's a holy Bible. Maybe they get things wrong. Maybe you get things wrong. Maybe you do this thing called the research. Maybe you hold back on the video for like three minutes. Double check a few things and add. Yeah, guys, I guess I got it wrong, um, but it's too late to edit the whole thing. I'm sorry. I apologize. Nope. Instead, he just puts out the video for money. And it's like, yeah, guys, I'm going to uncover the great bot conspiracy. Maybe I'm wrong, but the clues are all there. It's like there's no clues. There's no evidence, you fucking moron. They just copied comments. They were just having a joke. You took it so seriously. And when you got called out, you deleted the comment. You actually engaged with the people there and got confirmation that, oh, they're real people. And you just deleted the comment. Now, I went back and double-checked. Maybe he's left the comment, but I tried tracking it down. So I don't know. All I can say is South Paul and SK are real people. So you just got it wrong. I don't know. I mean, some of his videos are okay, but a lot of them are just lazy, garbage content. He's just a grifter. He's a fucking moron. He's not very reliable. If you want to like his videos and check him out, that's fine. But really, he's not to be trusted. In most cases... It's not very well informed about Star Wars or other material. So just go in, 
with a fair warning that he may not be telling the whole truth or maybe just be so stupid and lazy he's going to get things completely wrong.